Hey, how's everybody doing today? Well, it is Saturday and I'm walking downtown in the lovely Canyon City, Colorado. As you know, I do live in this place. And downtown's actually kind of boring today. You would think that there'd be somebody around, but there's nobody, see? I've noticed a trend lately. There's a lot of downtowns that are going out of business. A lot of downtowns are losing money. The Chamber of Commerce isn't there to support them. And I'm wondering, what can we do to help fix that? Well, some advertising's in an order. You know, some promotion of businesses downtown wouldn't hurt at all. So, I decided to start with one business down here that belongs to a friend of mine. It's kind of hard to miss because if I walk around here and show it to you, it looks like a great big American flag. This is Mike's General Store. Let's go inside and see what's up. I'm Matt Grooms. I'm son of Mike Grooms, who's the owner of the store. Plus, I've been working here since 1995, and I've pretty much been manager, cashier, all kinds of things, just helping out as much as I can. From what I remember, it's been at least since 1995 that we've had this place. It's been around probably a little bit longer than that, but it wasn't always Mike's General Store. It's actually had its beginnings as discount liquidators and surplus liquidators and like a few different names before that. So what gave them the inspiration for uh, painting it such wild colors? Well, it was in 2001. It was right after 9-11. He was feel feeling really patriotic. So he thought, why not paint it like an American flag? Why not? So Just for the heck of it? Yeah, he thought it would be a bold statement. It would kind of be something to shock and amaze the citizens of Canyon City. Like all downtowns all, all across the country are kind of declining. Like right. that, that sector of business. It, how is it here, if you don't mind asking? It's... They're always looking for new ways to get people to come down here because it doesn't have that shopping mall feel and it doesn't have that warehouse, I want to go to Walmart feel, you know, because But they do have a Walmart. Yeah, we do have a Walmart and it would have been better if they had actually put the Walmart closer to downtown. That might have helped spur industry, but they put it so far away people think that that's where Kane City's going. And you don't want to go four miles just to go get stuff. That wastes gas nowadays. It makes me wonder what little little things could we do to kind of help bring people down here. Especially what can I do as a part of this store to help bring people down here. At Mike's we try to provide an area where you can find those niche things, those things that you don't always find. I mean. This morning I found an antique gumball machine and a guy wanted a buck for it, which was a little surprising. We're trying to branch out and expand our inventory a lot more. I mean, I'm always trying to get more new clothing. I mean, I haven't even gotten offers for clothing yet, because people bring in their, their random stuff and say, how much, how much would you like to give me for this? Mm -hmm. They think we're a pawn shop, they think we're an antique shop, uh, I get all kinds of things. I'm surprised I haven't been given like trash bags full of clothing yet because you know I, I was waiting for the I thought you were Play-Doh's Closet. I thought you'd bring you takes the gently used clothing and give me a couple bucks. I haven't gotten that yet. Hmm. I have various different kinds of merchandise. I do have clothing. I do have food. I tend to have a lot of little knickknacks and dishes and houseware stuff and yeah I'm I'm interested in branching out into like having skateboards. I do have a guy that, that could get me skateboard decks and some stuff like that. We're working on that and we do have a website and a Facebook, a YouTube page just just got launched. I have MySpace, which for those people it's still out there that have that. Final question. Yes, sir. It's kind of a tough one. Okay. Why should people come to your store? Why should people visit Mike's and what can they expect from it? Yeah, I believe that Mike's General Store, people should come here because it's unique, 
Uh, you don't. You always find something new. You don't always know what'll be here. Our main goal is to try to provide for people stopping by in Canyon City and provide for the locals as well. So I do have a lot of interesting stuff, and if American Pickers wants to stop by, hey, give us a call and or give drop us a line, and we'll definitely let you come around and and pick through our stuff. Matt, I appreciate it. You'll see this later. No problem. I, thank you very much.